Hello Jess, how are you? No, thanks for having me, that's cool. Yeah, Christo voted you the most handsome on set, so get ready. <laughs> I have no idea about the question you're gonna ask, so... <laughs> so please, get ready. surprise me. Hello everyone and welcome to Jess and the Guest. My guest today is the very talented French actor, Stefan Manis. Stefan stars opposite Jason Sudeikis as Richard on Ted Lasso. You know, the little indie show no one's heard of, you know, no big deal. <laughs> today we talk about the audition process in Ted Lasso, the famous dancing scenes and choreography, first time he met Jason Sudeikis, and Stefan is the only person who will ever get me to speak French. I hope you like the episode. I know you mentioned before you did an open call, but what was the audition process like? Oh, it was, uh, I've just, it's kind of funny in my situation. I've just joined this new agency in June and the first casting he gave me in the end of June was an Apple TV series about football. It was the first casting I've done. So as the first casting for this agency, I did my best. I tried to add some fun. And after I had a call back a week after, I think, then another call back on a Thursday or the confirmation on a Thursday and I had to be on set in Monday I was in Greece I had to be on set Monday in London for three months I was like Ugh. um but yeah it was very last minute very fast I arrived they already started rehearsing shooting so maybe I was uh, one of the piece last piece bring to the package I have no idea uh Crystal was one of the last definitely but it was very last minute this uh, Ted Lasso thing I think yeah wow what were you nervous at all because talking to other people the cast they were nervous and I was really surprised by that I was extremely nervous I didn't know anybody my English wasn't that great uh it was my first job like actually first big one uh, but they were they were all very welcoming and and uh tried to talk with me and explaining me when I didn't understand what they were saying in English and same with Jason, like he's got a, sometime a little thick accent for me in the time. And he was like, oh, okay, Stefan, if you don't get what I'm saying, just you just ask me or anybody, don't worry about it. So everybody was trying to, to help each other, you know, to relax. And we're just a bunch of boys playing with balls. So it was, <laughs> it was an easy set, to, to be honest. <laughs> What was meeting Jason like for the first time? Like, was it intimidating or nerve? I, 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 I didn't know who he was. I just, <laughs> I had no idea. I said, yeah. oh, hell, nice to meet you. He, he, like the first time I saw him, he hugged me, said, there's the French boy. And he hugged me, gave me a kiss, like a, a la bees, like we do in France. And yeah. uh, now back in the time, I think about it, I was very sick. Like I, I was, I got a call from the plane and uh, I didn't have time to say, wait, I'm sick. It just gave me, a, I said, okay, well, I hope you won't get sick. But I did, I didn't know who was Jason or was Bill Lawrence, who was Brett or Brendan or Joe Kelly. I said, hey, hello, nice to meet you. How's it going? It's my first job. How, how about you? I was like, they were like, okay, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> um, I guess. I think Toheeb told me there were some pranks on sets. Were, did you do any pranks with everyone? Or I think he said he like put chairs upside down or? Oh, we had many pranks like hiding, hiding socks or playing with uh, with clothes or balls or, or bags. I mean, like we would find a, a way to entertain ourselves beside from playing football or playing cards or yeah, we're just having some fun or hiding each other's stuff. It was fun. Yeah, we talk about the Christmas episode a lot, but did you have a favorite like episode that you did uh episode that i've done now the christmas episode was was definitely kind of fun for me uh it was a huge set that you see you see the stuff we waited such a long time and it was a little reduced because there was so, just some of the cast some of the extras so it was like a new um fewer people on set uh, let's say new kind of group just the uh, foreign people just here so it was a little different many accents so yeah the Christmas episode was one of the kind and it was very fun so I really enjoyed that one well I have to ask about the dancing too because I heard a lot about the choreographer was very tough but uh how was the yeah. so long farewell dance you were great in um it. thank you very much well I've done some dance before so maybe it helped Ooh, uh, I've been yeah. dancing for years but yeah um what was the name of the other one? Um, not so, oh, not the so long farewell. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, to be honest, uh, this one was harder because 
we are different choreographer and to be honest uh, i felt that they were a little tough uh we, like 99 percent of the boys we have no dancing background experiences you cannot and they were treating with us like oh we don't have time we have to be efficient and fast and, and we don't know what to do it's like we take people dancers and we teach them football okay so kick kick into that damn it and, no no it takes time and the choreographer from uh so long farewell i it's me i felt like they were much more calm and comprehensive maybe they had more time or it was easier but we had much more fun uh, doing this one and uh, it was great uh, I didn't know what to expect with this one I said it was a little it's not my sense of humor you know it's very very deep it's American it's, it's different so and uh, it was great in the end I was very uh, eager to, to see the results and uh, it was it was very nicely done so everybody's oh. happy I guess. Did you um, have any cast bonding nights like a uh... I'm picturing you guys all going out for a drink or doing something fun, hopefully, when the show wraps or when every wraps. every weekend. Like it's way <laughs> too much. I'm not British. Like they 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 have they have like a power to uh, to um to handle nights or drinks. Oh my god, like, guys, I cannot go like this like, like every weekend. No, they they were very cool. Like anytime we could we could spend some time together, we, we did, like we had some drinks. We went to holidays together, like some groups. We went to Hibiza together in their houses, two houses next to each other. We spent a lot of time together off the set. So it was very cool, especially for somebody who doesn't know England, London that much. For people like, especially Colas, is from Peckham, is from London. Uh, he knows mm -hmm. the, the nightlife a little more, so he shared with us. These are the good place to go or invited us, uh, meeting his friends. So yeah, so it was good to have people like them. Like Kola was telling us where to go and taking taking us with him, uh, going out mm -hmm. on weekend or when we were not in set. So, so yeah, it was. I was personally pretty fortunate to have some people like him and um, and to be in London for years and not to, knowing the city. It's uh, yeah, yeah, it's great, but it, it was helping. Oh, I think Kola could like be a comedian too. <laughs> Kola uh, is very fun. Kola is very fun. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Well, my <laughs> favorite food. Oh. Uh, I really like the tartare de boeuf is one of my favorites. Like it's raw beef, but nicely prepared with very specific sauce, French fries, Tabasco, so, and a very nice bread. This I like it. Um, a very specific cheese with truffles, like Gouda au truffe is very good. All of this has to be coordinated with a proper wine, otherwise you waste like 50%. It's not worth it. And my mom, she's making a very good Poulet au curry, so chicken curries, but you put some dry, dry grapes in it, some coconuts, uh, sorry, some coconut milk and some pineapple dry, but you make it cook in a very nice way and uh, in the end everything goes together. So yeah, those are very easy to make actually. So I like it. I don't need lobsters or kind of stuff. But, yeah. yeah. Wow. That sounds incredible. <laughs> like, <laughs> can you cook? To me, that sounds hard to do. <laughs> Oh, everybody cooks in France. I mean, we, we leave home quite early. Maybe the, the the country is is a little cheaper, even if we don't have like much money, like we in the in like in the eighties. But um, the country is helping a lot. Young people when they study with um, studentship scholarships or stuff like this. So, and I was grow I grew up in a very small city, like four thousand people. So you have to leave after seventeen when you graduated to study somewhere. Yeah. And uh, so you leave home, so you have to cook or you die, you starve, you know. So <laughs> so usually your mom uh, is uh, is uh, teaching you how to cook for a year or two so you can sustain yourself. And back in the time, you, you didn't have, like, we didn't have YouTube or stuff like how to cook. Uh, your mom had to teach you, like, clearly your mom had to teach you how to cook. And when you're alone, you do your own groceries, shopping, and you, and you survive, yeah. So everybody yeah. knows how to cook, at least the basics. I'm so impressed. <laughs> And what's the weirdest place you've been recognized? Because I'm sure you've been recognized a lot. The weirdest place. Uh, it's more places. It's more contextual. Like I have two <laughs> fun ones. Like last week, for example, and on set, I don't have a beer. So maybe it's hard to say, but anyway, uh, a beer. <laughs> uh, so 
Last week, I met one of my cousins I haven't seen in four years, and uh, he's a doctor, he's a little older, we had a great friend, we had a talk, a beer uh, in Paris, and um, he was like, oh, is it quite famous? I said, yeah, it's not too bad in England, you know, in, in America, it's quite big. He said, yeah, but in yeah. France, nobody will recognize you. I said, well, sometimes, he said, no, but really, nobody has seen it. And at this exact second, somebody like, Oh, you're the guy from Ted Lasso. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's me. So it was very fun. And um, so the context was very good. And then another yeah. time, uh, some months ago, or last year, it was just after season two, and Ted Lasso was doing great. And I, I wanted to show off a little. With, I was with a, on a date, and I was with um, uh, going out, I don't know where, but in a festivity place. I don't know what to call this. And people in, just in front of us in the line were Americans, like very thick accents. And young, they were 20. And I was with my friend and I said, okay, yeah, okay, watch this. And uh, I talked to the guy, say, hey guys, sorry, where are you from? Like, oh, we're from Boston. I'm like, oh, great. Uh, just a question. Do you have any favorite comedy show at the moment in America? And the yeah. guy said, oh, Ted Lasso is my favorite show. I know it by heart. Have you watched it? And I'm like, uh, I heard about it. And I said, you liked it? And he said, yeah, I've watched it like two, three times. It's a very feel good show. It's great. The cast is fun. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it sounds like a good show. <laughs> and he didn't recognize me at all. And she was laughing so much. And at some, and I just, okay, you know, the, the guy, the French guy, didn't say, yeah, Richard. And I'm like, <laughs> and once he realized, he almost <laughs> fall down. It was very fun. It was, that was a fun moment, to be honest. <laughs> that was very funny. Your English is so good, too. Like, I'm so impressed. Because oh, if thank you, you. It's get, yeah, it's, you it's getting better. It. Okay. You give me, now it's my turn to ask question. Okay, give me a sentence in French and then your favorite dish. Where are you from? You're from, you're, where do you live? From Pennsylvania, but I uh, live in LA, oh, yeah. but I'm, yeah. Um, je parle français comme un chevre espagnol. Comme une vache espagnole, <laughs> like a cow, like a Spanish cow. Yeah, Chevre, okay. Like a Spanish goat, yeah. Okay, yeah. Pas mal. Je parle français comme une vache espagnole. That's good. Yeah, it it's sounds like a, a lot better when you say it. <laughs> It's not too bad. Actually, it's contextual. Same. And favorite yeah. dish? Um, I mean, it's not anywhere near as good as yours. You have like this beautiful thing. Um, if you travel. turn me in and out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna close the chat. <laughs> okay, in and out though. Did you have it when you came to LA, or hopefully? I didn't like it. Everybody's like in and out, in and out. I didn't like it that much. Yeah. I prefer McDonald's. I prefer McDonald's. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. You have some of the best food in France. So oh, and yeah. this one, uh, I didn't like the name, but I had nowhere else to go. I said, okay, I'm going. Fat burger. <laughs> that was that was very good. I'm like, oh fat burger, what kind of it? It was you, very good. See, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> quality wasn't too bad. The in and out quality was terrible. Like the bread oh, wasn't bread. Uh, I got the cheese with the cheese. No, 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 didn't like it. People are gonna fight you in LA. With... <laughs> Sorry about this. Sorry about this. <laughs> like, come, come to LA. Come hang. Yeah. I still don't know your favorite dish. Oh no, I was trying to get out of it. I didn't think you. Yeah, I know. I know. So I, I know. Um, maybe like steak frites. Is that boring? Steak frites. Yeah. No, it's not steak frites. <laughs> Glass of red wine. Pretty cool. Yeah. Right. Are you doing anything fun the rest of today now, hopefully? Or? The rest of today, um, no, I'll just do a little of piano. I have to go in Paris for a meeting uh, because I, I live just outside of Paris. So I'm going to drive yeah. a little and go in Paris. And uh, yesterday I had a premiere with Lucini. You don't know him, he's a very fa famous French actor. It was a great movie, a uh, very nice topic. And it's called uh, La Petite, and it was great. And, uh, oh, my God. Well, doing a lot that's a lot to do <laughs> yeah getting uh trying to stay busy you know stay yeah busy. you know oh. uh, as an artist like either way you're very busy or sometimes you're not when you're not shooting you're building project and uh yeah. and it's okay you just have to uh, find a way to, to fill the gap it's okay not to work 24 7 it's great when you do but if you don't it's part of the job so thank you just thank you for having me i hope you had a good time of course and yeah. thank you everybody for watching it thank you, thank yeah. you. and come thank to la you. Gonna make you like Promise. in and out burger. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll try. Promise. <laughs>